it's that time again. It's time for an update. <laughs> So I'm not going to make this long because, you know, I do a short video that's just like my challenge update and then a longer one that's my book reviews. But I did want to do a basic channel update and a personal update. Um, some of you may have noticed um, some videos that were specifically for my Patreon community were um, released publicly and they weren't really supposed to be released publicly. I'm not sure how I did that, but it doesn't hurt for them to be public. I just wanted to make sure there was no confusion that um, if you're not currently supporting my Patreon community, that's okay. Those videos um, were recorded uh, months ago, but somehow, um, I don't know if I had them on a schedule or something. I don't know, but they be became public. So don't worry about those. And also, um, something that I'm going to be mentioning on my blog is sometimes I include affiliate links um, in uh, the description below when I talk about like books and things like that. And I'm going to continue to do that, but there's always like no pressure for that. And I do list the disclosure and all of that, but I just wanted to explain that that's just um, another way to, you know, pay for some of the things that I do is regarding like recording these videos and things like that. So again, you don't have to click on those links, but if you do, it does state that they are affiliate links in case you didn't know that. Um, I've mostly been sticking with Amazon for a long time, but I have upgraded, I think, um, by including additional um, um, sources for people to have alternatives. And you'll see those moving forward if you ever look down in the links. So that's just like a little channel update. Now let's get into my Goodreads challenge. So let's see here. Gotta move some things around. Should have been better prepared for this. <laughs> All right, here we go. So in regards to my Goodreads challenge, I am 19 books into my total goal of 60, um, which is 32%. That's pretty good. It says that I am five books ahead of schedule. And just a quick reminder, that is titles, not actually like novel length books. You know, some of those are short stories. They could be picture books, graphic novels, what have you. But so far, I've read 19 titles this year. Uh, so let's look at what I read in the month of March. Um, the first book that I completed was The Oracle of Ghosts. That is the seventh book in the Ghost Rider series. I love that whole series. I ended up giving that book an overall Goodreads rating of five stars. The actual rating is 4.75. And I'll go into detail in the book review video. The next thing that I read was <laughs> Psycho Host Beast from Outer Space. Um, this is Gail Harbor number one. Um, this is a middle grade kind of horror science fiction story. Ended up giving it a five star. Of course, I'll elaborate in the book review and I've already pre-ordered the next book. I was very entertained by this. The next thing I have is Turn the Light On. Oh. Psycho Hosties from Out of Space was one of my IWSG book club reads for the month of March. This book, Turn the Light On, was the other IWSG um, book club read for the month of March. Um, this one was a short story, a romance, and I gave it an overall star rating of three. Let's keep it moving. Uh, the next thing I read was Light the Dark, um, Writers on Creativity, Inspiration, and the Artistic process I believe yes <laughs> it's a long title regardless um this is actually a book that I picked up for the read with Faye challenge um it's basically just a challenge for you to read something to help with your creativity or your writing process what have you so I pick one nonfiction book every month to do that because I'm not the kind of person who just is naturally drawn to nonfiction. so a challenge like this right up my alley I ended up giving this book four stars it was actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be. And I even mentioned in my review, which I'll get to later, that I think I was a little bit prejudiced going into that. And that's on me. So, all right. And the last thing that I read in the month of March was Smitten with Strudel. This is a romantic comedy travel series by Ellen Jacobs. I love Ellen Jacobs. She is so funny. This is the third book in the series. I ended up giving it a five stars. So that is what I read in the month of March. Um, March was pretty good for me in terms of reading and writing and doing interviews and all kinds of stuff. So again, not to make this too long, that is what I read. I'm doing great on my challenges. And um, let me know um, what you guys have been reading if you're doing any challenges. 
And until then, um, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you guys next time.